Uh. Hello everyone, this is your Korea Fantastic World, letting you know that visiting hours for Hush House are now open again. Welcome back to the Book of Hours and Lovecraft Country. Okay, so we're about to start in another exciting summer day. The Great Elder Greatest, obviously. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're kind of moving into the dawn of the next day, and yeah, everything's exhausted, and I'm going to be losing a, cup, a few uh, memories here, but you know how it is. Sometimes you can't use, utilize everything, just need to be able to utilize what you can. And as we found the escape hatch for one of the endings here that we won't be touching, and we got a lot of things to cover. Now, we're still, I think, let me check. Did we manage to get the... Um, yeah, okay, so we got Solomon's preparation done. At this point, we um, just need to concentrate on whatever the opportunities for the next day will bring. Now, we got a bunch of stuff I've got ideas about. We still have, a, like I said, 14 Grail here. we got to figure out how we're going to get some of these up. We need some seriously high levels of attributes to get any of these open. Now, I've done 14 before I did for the Aqueduct here, but... Honestly, the winter might be the easiest one of Solomon's preparation, and of course, we've got a lot of books. I don't even have shells for this stuff anymore, so we got to get into uh, serious reading here. I mean, even if I read these two up here in my in my inventory, I still have. I just had to pet them. This orphan chick. I wonder if we can get that thing to grow as well. We've got so many things we want to experiment with, but yeah, we need to do some reading. Now, the weakest one we've got up here to do is Grail. We can do that right off the bat. And we've got Clouds. Now, one of the things about Clouds is as if we're thinking about advancing any of our skills, we could do so with Moon or Moth with that. And it's about all it's good for. And we can easily get, like I say, another Moth one. But, like I say, the options we have here are the Orchid Transformations, which are going to get us another Grail one. Um, Letters from a Fugitive, which is Rose, which doesn't really help anything. Um, winter, again, same issue, key, although this one, yeah, this one we've already read, we should have actually taken it out, there we go, so we have actually room to do one of these, so let's think about that, so let's grab our usual desk here, put this one in, take our low level of Faust, and we will set that up for the day. Now that's one star way to start. So we're going to be able to put the a book in, so Teresa's book back in. Yeah, we're going to have to start doing some serious shelving purposes soon. I may do that off screen where I just do some rearranging. But as you can see, let's see, the carboing one. Yeah, that's we did that one as well. The moth one needs to go in the same place. Deal with that later. So yeah, we have one book here that we want to be able to get through, so we should consider... Let's see, I don't think we're going to have anything that could go easily with the uh, clouds here, so we may just lose that entirely. It's not a very strong weather card after all. Um, so yeah, the Grail one should be easy enough, and we speak Latin, so... And I definitely keep thinking about this one, but we don't have Hykos, unfortunately. Yeah, we do have Hykos. Ooh, can we get an edge in? I um, don't think so. I mean, I think biggest edge we have right now is it this one? Biggest edge we have is three. Oh, there's also this, which will count towards ones. So that's four. Plus metal radius five. It's only three more. This is basically where we have to save that one, which we can do now. We'll save the uh, film for when it is winter and we have the uh, hail that gives us three edge or another opportunity as such arises. I mean, we could. Let's see where we are here. To even if we had one more, I don't think we could. Well, we should double check because that's yeah, it's four, five. Mm hmm. It's five plus six for the language. What do we have for ink? <laughs> For yeah, we can easily do this. All right, so yeah, let's consider that. Let's let's just actually use that projection. We've had that projection for so long. Now this isn't going to actually let us get in space for the new book, but I'm curious. I'm curious now. All right, so if we're going to do that, we need to put in the film. Excuse me. Right, that allows us to put in Hykos language. 
Now that's, to give only half the attention to the film, how, why, would you drink coffee without using your throat? Ilya Bischoff, studying requires effort. All right. That's two. As we were saying before, where, ah. This is, ooh. Can't use skill? Why can't I use skill? Hmm. Has to be something that we have applicable to edge. So what can we throw in there? Oh, can we, we can't even... Oh, we need two memories. Two memories and a skill. Ooh. This may not be doable. All right, so let's see what we got for memory. Oh, no, skills. All right, the skills we can put in there. Do any of them match what we can do here? I don't know. I mean, we have to basically find a spot. I mean, is there a second projector? Hmm. Huh. Kind of interesting. But... I mean, this one won't fit in, will it? It will, actually. That gives us four edge. Do we? And we need two memories. So which memories can we have that would both be edge and one of these? I think, according to my list, that maybe we can slip in contradiction, which is another two points. Uh, if contradiction it works, let's see. Contradiction is edge and moon. We cannot fit that in. What else can we do? Edge... Two, moon, moon, that's edge, edge, edge. Edge one scale, nope. That's not going to work either. Ooh, we may have to actually back up on that. Oh, well. So, put it all back. So, we cannot use that particular projector at this time to be able to do that. Which means we're basically going to have to do the more, more mundane thing. Grab the grail-based one. We know, oh, wait. Oh, we're doomed. I'm going to have to buy this. What is contained by silver? Sky. Sky is an easy one for us to burn through. They only want three. I have five, I think. Yeah, there you go. No reasons. Okay, cool. That. Of course, we're buying an extra book. Of course, I'm buying an extra book. But let's grab you as desk here. All right. So we know that's two right off the bat and five. Yeah, that's going to be pretty easy to do. The compilation of quasi rosicution which is actually a very fascinating real-life occult Christian sort of cult, um, which, you know, I have seen entire video essays series devoted on them. They're an interesting bunch, but we're not going to go too deep into that. Just, just think of them as um, Christians with Gnostic overtones that don't include the Demiurge. It's hard to explain. They're basically about the structure of reality. Uh, it's a long story. Anyways, but yeah, this this is original Latin by Robert Fudd, so what will happen, we'll drop that one in. That will give us the room to secure the, both of these books, which means that we have to. Let's see, Fett, I think, does fit in here, right? Yep. Both of them, the baronial ones, out of my inventory. We can start working towards actually being able to get more rooms and more shelf space at this point. But as you can see, we only have the oldest books at this point, which, you know, problematic. As it means is that we're going to have a higher chance of getting a contaminated book and thus contaminating one of my soul fragments. Speaking of which, um, I gotta double check this. We've got, right, that's got Themoplasma. I've always kind of figured out if we've got any that have the Themoplasma. I mean, I'm just going to have to roll in here at some point and do inventory. But yeah, things like this. We got infestations. Emo classic. Okay, so we have Menescate, but how does that work? Uh, see, all right, so we have Menescate Reflections. Let's say we grab, where is it? Here, this. That's not Themo Themoplasma. Is this not Themoplasma? Themoplasmic. Okay, so yeah, they are. All right, so say I was to grab this one. How? Do I get it to decontaminate? Uh, let's see. Combination this can make Tristan health and spread a new object. You can move it with a skill that effective is that in at least seven heart. So we have a skill here. Um, let's see, where is it? That would only give us, we need seven heart on top of that. Now we have one from health. We could have gotten three from mature. We've already used that one. So that's going to immediately, um, Require more, unfortunately, but um, we can always. We should wait till we have uh, one of the gales and such to do that because they produce a lot of heart. And I don't know if we have heart-based um, ink. Yeah, we couldn't use ink with the uh, thing anyways. But right, heart-based. Yeah, we've got Houndsgill is two. That would put that 
this one, two, three, four, five, plus that skill, plus a two point heart memory, which is yet to create. Yeah, we can do that. We can definitely do that once we have chore back for the next day. So let's, let's keep this here for the moment. Speaking of which, I want to figure out where Kitty Mezzanine goes. She should be one of the librarians. So what we should do is drop her in here, grab one of the wisps, Trist one, sorry, and investigate the object. I want to see if that will describe which of the librarians she is, and then we'll put her in the appropriate position here, since we've got this book out in my inventory now. Hopefully it can't stretch anything else. Speaking of which, however, I actually want to think about creating some, uh, I'm going to think about creating some, uh, eggs. So we have, I like to keep things in two for storage purposes. I want to get eggs over here on top of this list. So in order to do that, we have to talk with you. Let's grab, let's grab this one, whist. And then it will give us an egg. We'll need to, of course, have something to feed it with simultaneously. So what we're going to do, since it's still summer, let's uh, produce some grapes. We'll feed them the grapes afterwards. And that will be that, all right? One thing at a time, as it were. I just like to uh, keep myself busy, as it were. So we've got a book going. We've got that. Now the question is, do we want to try to do some room clearing? Because I'm not big on that right now because we have... Um, we still don't have a lot of room here. And any room I'd like to get over, or possibly these, which I'm not sure about... Yeah, it would be that. I mean, the thing is, also, we need to do some experimentation. I mean, we've got, like, bells and braziers. So what can we do with that? Let's go here. They put bells and braziers and I toss in metal. All right. Tells me I can make wistful air. Yeah, we're going to make a spread. I'm going to make a spreadsheet about this in time. So I can basically create Ascendant Harmony. Wow, that, that's with the sky one. There we go. We can do that there. And the oracle. So this one's pretty much... John, Wistful Air, Oraclum is kind of cool, but let's see what else we got. Say so we put an Annabary and Lazberry. An Annabary and Lapidary. Biotic Essence. Basically, this creates the essences. This one's the hammer. Now, this one's interesting. So, we need to be able to produce... Well, we can do that pretty easily. I can grab the it Kazotic Essence right here. That there. That's better back salts. Or if I add metal, I can make it to something exotic. All right, so one of these things we need to just check. We can grab the metal from here. Oracle again. Well, you know, at least we figured that part out. The other half would be, of course, edge. Now, what would happen if we were to grab... What if we grab um, one of the... Let's see, but these both have edge. So what happens if we put some edge in? We can probably find out pretty easily. Take this out. The exotic frac the um, aotic essence. And we need some fuel that's going to give us edge. Not sure we're gonna find something here. All right. Fuel. All these things that are considered fuel. Even the ash is considered fuel. Now that's that's liquid. Um, but yeah, what do we got for an edge? Not much. All right, let's go with metal. Do we have any edge metal? Hmm. No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what else can we throw in? Metal glass. Do we have any glass edge? Let's see. Not sure about all of these, but let's give it a whirl. Now, are any of these considered glass? Yep, arsenic is. But it's not considered a fuel. But is this one? Doesn't use edge. All right, so yeah, maybe this one? Yeah, I know, we're getting wandering out, but this is experimental phase. That does not include edge either. Urgh. This one definitely includes edge. Where is it? Ah, yeah. The practice dummies also allow us to use two souls, so... Could do this, could grab that, could grab disciplines of the hammer. Better black salts, we need another point of edge, which is gonna have to be a memory. If you don't have a memory with an edge fragment to it, unfortunately. Hmm. Again, we could do contradiction here, but again, not gonna work. But what about, if I recall properly, one of these should have edge attached to it. 
Not that one, not that one. Not that one. Uh, so many altars. There. The chancerl. Two and two and disciplines the hammer. And then remembrance. And we get edge. Hmm. Got tool work there. Nope. Can they have a candle with an edge? And it's not considered to be a Yeah. Pigment with an edge. Is that even possible? Alright, so let's grab this. Does any of this have edge? I know, I know, I'm experimenting. I just like experimenting. Nothing. Well. Oh well. Uh, memory, fuel, ed, pigment, or candle. I'm guaranteeing we don't have a candle with edge in it. But you never know. Yeah, I was pretty sure about that. I mean, we've got a lot of strange candles already even checked out. Anyways. Let's see about this. So if you're going to produce the egg, let's see. Hmm. Definitely need more skills, damn it. <laughs> yeah, there's probably going to be focusing on the skills here, which means you definitely have to consider if we're going to be doing another book. The next book up is Rose. We don't have a lot of Rose, unfortunately. Hmm. I would have to probably figure out how to actually get Rose to show up here. Where we got rows, rows, rows. Three rows. Put them in a meter, for example. Now that's three right off the bat. We can produce two produce it says six, which is okay, but we don't I think Wist Trist doesn't have any, and does uh, do you. Yeah, that's two. So if we get fet in that back, that would be fine. That would be for the next time. This one is six winter. Now we've already used Wist, that's not gonna help. Ah. A grail. We already choose a grail, but nectar is one of our weaker ones. Unfortunately, I can produce five without. That. That's not going to work. Forge. Now, forge there. We could probably produce another six. And do we have forge based um, ink? Come on. We do not. Okay, so that to be forge based tool we have, though, that produces two for that. Metal four, I hope. For the uh, skill. If we don't, we have to increase it. But yeah, spices and favors is only two men's gates. Yeah, we don't have a straight up four. Yeah, I think what we need to do is focus on skills. And since we can't do too many skills at once, we may, because of unfortunately we're reaching a block point. Like the lantern one's going to be interesting. Foss three, three, six, and we definitely have two points of liquid. So we can do that actually. So let's uh, break out. The Astrotina 6. Oof. Maybe we can produce that on a regular basis. But yeah. I mean, this plus that was definitely going to be more than enough. So let's say we grab that. We grab the Lantern Book. Unfortunately, getting all the skills. So we have plenty of time before the break here to do so. So we can concentrate, first of all, on getting the skills. Then we're going to concentrate on breaking down the... Um... So, okay, but right now, what we need to do... Let's go so, Where was that? All right. Winter, that where's the lantern one? I just had it a second ago. That's Forge, Lantern, Winter, Lantern, Rosa Waske, which is a red book, ironically. So that's yeah, that's gonna be pretty easy to do. Grab the uh, our favorite desk here, the pale desk, throw this one in, throw that in, and we've got six right off the bat. There's Faust at Revelation. So yeah, okay, so we need to get serious in locking down the skills. Let's never concentrate on moving books from this point forward, not on rooms, because I certainly need to get stuff um, done. So, yeah, I believe we have Ashertain as one of our uh, uh, pre-existing recipes, and we still have another one to back up, just in case. Now, the only thing I'm going to check, the only thing I'm going to check, is if we have a more advanced book than uh, this one with Lantern in it. We do two of them. Now, this one's got... Ten. Ooh, it's the same thing. We can easily do that. And the last one is... Twelve. Now, can we actually do twelve? So this would be nine. Yeah, definitely. And we don't need a language for that. Form Chandler's Wish. Chandler, by the way, I believe is the one who's going to overthrow the Watchman and create the next phase, invoking lant Lantern, an exceptionally paradoxically liminal and theoretical hour called the Chandler. Moth and Lantern being, of course, change and constant. The author is anonymous, meaning only they are the one who is not yet nameless. It's got to be 
Gotta be Teresa. Gotta be. Gotta be. I have this theory, but it's got to be her. All right, so three. So yeah, let's hit this one. Let's get the bigger one. Since like I said, we have no issue with that. And we are definitely gonna be able to link these all together at some point. Now again, we can also just, yeah, let's, let's stackle it. Use that ink to be able to get us a high level one. Again, that's another book that we can probably scrape off. So let's grab Dawn or Solar. I think the Solar ones are slightly, slightly, and I mean slightly safer. So let's grab another. Freaking desk! All right, what's this one? Natan, what can we fit in here? Either one of these will work. Shapt, we're not using Shapt at the moment, so let's grab that. Catalog the Solar Period book. Yeah, this is all gonna get nuts real fast. Um, definitely, let's uh, get some cash. So yeah, that's a lot of the day taken up already. The world does not weep. Again, we're setting that one aside for the possibility of Put this one back in place. I think it goes here. There you go. There you are. Boom. Hit it. Got a hell of a day out of us. <sighs> like I said, when these start popping one after the other, we'll use these two in order to produce memories that are necessary to increase our skills. And, you know, that should be the day. Like I said, this is going to be primarily a reading day. A re uh, reading day. Uh, as we progress, what do we got here? Ah, catalog Baronial Period. Yeah, we're going to be there in a second. And boom, we have three of them that pop off. The other line, when the Samuel Savage's more thoughtful works, an allegorical play about the city clarity, I see there's also a book and the sentences which inhabit it. Yeah, the whole idea that memory and reality combined in a book is kind of a recurring theme about these. All right, so you... Get over there, dude, and you get there. There you go. Come on, you can fit over there. Why don't you want to fit over there? Uh, it's antisocial. The Black Book of Brittany, a volume of ink lore gifted to Sir Bradens by Brian de Brittany, who has made Earl Cornwall after the Northern Conquest. Mystery Moon. You got a lot of moon. We can work with that, too. All right, so that one at a point 12. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to basically fit in where we uh, grab the other one. Yeah, at the 12 point. There you go. I love the binding on that one. Beautiful. All right. The Seven Faces of Icarus. The early 1530s, last abbot of Sir Brains called Roaring Richard, set down his conversation with the illiterate local cunning man, Red William. The cunning men are the men, wise men of local of uh, the lore of um, villages and such, and they should not be ignored under any circumstances. All right. Kitty Merzine, second librarian, musician, composer, one time plus C... Almost French, almost Spanish, or almost American. What is a, a Plassey? I know that word, and it's bugging me. Uh, I believe it has something to do with French culture, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, you want to definitely... Okay. Feminine, singular of place. Recognize the extra-legal system of slave colonies in North America. Yep, that sees a um, combination. Whew, she's probably... How do I put this? Half French, half uh, African slave in the Louisiana period had a strange sort of second class culture that would put them status class, so to speak. That would put them above, far above what the Americans at that time would consider slavery. Because this is we're talking the 1700s here, late 1700s, early 1800s, I believe. And in the case, it was, um, how do I put this? It was suitable to have them as a mistress, but not a wife. It is suitable to have them as an attendant. But as opposed to a slave, but not as a brother or an equal in society. But compared to what the Americans would later do to them, to this, to them um, when they took over Louisiana during Louisiana Purchase, yeah, you're better off being a plessy than you were being a slave. All right, so since of the second one, let's grab. Oh, should have grabbed them out of the thing there. But yeah, let's grab her out of the music room, put her into the place of honor that she deserves. Where are you? Ah, right there. Explains the stone they used as well. It's kind of a subtle hint to the mixed heritage. Let's see, where are we? Sixth, fourth, third. This would be the second librarian. Yep. Who was born of three nations and of none. Correct. They never really have citizenship of all three and existed in the shadow state in the old New Orleans area. There's a level, Barbara Hambly has a level series where it's set in a, um, a, uh, 
man in that period who solves mysteries, but it is very real to his nature as being mixed white and black blood within um, classy culture. And he also goes to America proper, where he's much more worse a citizen, almost enslaved a few times. And he goes back in, both in the past in his memories and in the present in a couple of books, goes to both Mexico, where his status is, he got money, you don't care. And of course, France, which really good, which he actually graduated from a surgery school from. I mean, it's fascinating. It's a Benjamin January series. Just check it out sometimes. But anyways, that's another one filled. Actually, we don't have a lot left here. Third library. I mean, this would be the sixth librarian. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually zipping in on this, which is a good thing we're thinking about removing the books that we've been using that for storage pop purposes. Anyways, let's continue. It's a terribly quick day, but I think it's a day we're going to get a lot accomplished. Anyways. Hmm, uh, uh, we have to decide whether or not we're going to be using the extra this to get the metal to get the extra six and only Tris to get one skill. I mean, we have two. This one can be used from the lantern upgrades, which is something to think about. We could use a Tris to grab another one off one of our other. All right, so we need to stuff to deal with here. Fixing and mending. There you go. Sixpence goes in. We're going to consider where we want to go over a half crown at this point, but this one. All right, we have an egg. Now the egg will go directly into storage as we don't need it immediately. And the grape I'm going to produce will be for, let's see, yep, we'll put the eggs here. We can get a lot of eggs up here, actually. But we're going to need those to feed the carnivorous animals, because obviously we're not going to give them our fish, because fish is a lot harder to come by. All right, let's get that rearranged. Let's see what it looks like skill-wise when we can reach the next section. Okay, so delicious when cooked, alarming when dropped. True. One's heart. One, yeah, we've got to consider the heart also aspect if you want to feed it to somebody who's that. And I'm pretty damn sure there's going to be some recipes. But I mean, if I can get a recipe of flour and... Uh, I know there's bread in the game. With flour, egg, and one of the skills to make bread, I'll be freaking happy. Because bread, I think it was too scale. Anyways, it should be boom. All right, pause. That is scrapes. We'll need those to feed the uh, beastie in a moment, but we'll hold that off for the moment, and we will see what we can produce with the books. Now, we should have at least one set. Where are they? Yeah, they're both over here, aren't they? Okay, so... That's not what I was aiming for. Uh, the author makes a passionate argument the hour named the Chandler is fact the oldest even though he does not exist or she because he is supposedly the culminating event of a plan that pursues even the Grey Elder Moth. Basically talking about nonlinear time where if he used to be the first situation of a new universe, the new the founder of a new universe, technically he's already done it since nonlinear time, mind you. Let's pause for a moment. Nonlinear time, mind you, that means that despite not existing yet, he will have always existed when his time comes or her time comes, as I keep pointing out. Whereas the Chandler is past, the understandings of the Colonel and Lion Smith will wrench open truth. Now remember, that's about division, conflict. Whether the Chandler pass, the moth will pass before him. The chaos that precedes new creation. The division means it will cut off one, the, the old time period, the old timeline we're in right now, the broken sun and the uh, and the messed up timelines, that will be severed away, cut away, dissolved back into chaos, and the Chandler, the moth will cut out of the chaos, and the Chandler will reset it into the new order. Whatever that is, after, of course, he kills and takes the last delight, still preserving this world from the Watchmen. Now, that's my supposition, but I'm getting that for a lot from uh, Inks of Revelation and Foresight. All right, what we need now is... Let's consider. Now, this one... Yeah, we don't have that skill yet, and I'm going to let it run, because we're going to be able to do that and use Memory Sight to be able to do it again. All right, so that's going to be 30 seconds to get that up. But in the meantime, uh, why we're doing that here, let's uh, start time again. The illustrations are pretty striking. They flush the skin and glow beneath eyelids after the book is closed. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those ones that concentrates in the erotic nature of um, Kundalini-like power. Now, the sexual power Kundalini represents is only at its lowest vibrational level expressed in sexual acts. Of You actually find a higher vibration rather in intimacy a lot of times in gentler versions of it than you are going to find in the more base animalistic ones it's kind of the difference between energy wise give me a moment the energy wise between um shall we say getting drunk on rot gut and having a um 
sipping uh, good wine. Sure, the rock gut's more powerful, but you're really not going to be able in the mind of state to be able to use it as much if you're going to be use the Kundalink energy in a concentrated meditative form. It's more like having the wine and simply enjoying it and allowing that altered state of being to move you into a uh, different frame, a vibrational framework to work in a more conscious level with whatever energies you're choosing to do with. Um, how do I put this? Uh, you will find if you progress in a more cultured, focused occult setting, that you will be getting less raw power and more control. In other words, you'll be able to, con to focus it to a subtler, deeper effects than you would, say, lightning striking uh, an enemy on the battlefield. Possibly to greater effect. All right. You must devour to be devoured. We cannot be undevoured as we cannot be unborn. Yes, that's the basic truth of the grail. The grail gives us birth and it consumes us in the end, and every moment between those is yours to do as you will, but in time your flesh will again succumb to entropy and form the basis of the next of your next self, and of course your body will go back into the primal essence that was born it, which in this case is Earth for the most part. I mean shooting it off into space just seems rude. Give it back to her. Memory, intuition, and desires and dissolutions. Ooh. God damn it. We need to do a lot of studying. All right, so while this is going on, first things first, we've got this one, Inks of Revelations. We also can bingo. Let's do this. We need, however, whoo, this one's not going to fit, unfortunately. We need, however, to regenerate one of our things. And I'm not sure, are we in midday? Are we seriously in midday? Then we've got more than enough time. Let's grab uh, Boss Fatigued. Let's get that up and going. Burn off some of the half crown there. Summer. And that will regenerate that part of it. We shouldn't have much of an issue with the rest of this. Meanwhile, this one, Desires and Dissolutions. It's a hell of a skill. All right, we need to get this. There you go. All right, let's get that started while we're regenerating uh, Foss or to be able to get the next level out. Again, we'll have to do the exact same thing for this, but Intuition. Intuition, what a show. Yeah, this one's not going to be super important right now. Hmm. Hmm. Three. All right, I'm thinking. Just give me a moment. Seven. Can I generate seven easily? Ooh, I've got another memory there, so that would be four. Four. Moon. What else we got? Moon me, baby. The right, largest one we have here for moon is Serpents and Venom. It has three... Pearl and Tide has three. Damn, I think I have more than that. Interesting. I didn't realize Hill and Hollow was one. Four. So, Hill and Hollow plus Trist plus this plus this. All right. That would be seven right off the bat. I have thoughts. You know what I don't have? Let's see. If we've got that. What is that? Right, so, let's grab. This is just me messing around. We've got the egg. Might as well use it, right? I'm curious what we've got on this bicot. We don't actually... Okay, so we've got... Oh my god. Chimeric larva. I don't think it any of those. Sorry, right, I'm just kind of enjoying this. These replaces insect and nectars. Leafy. We've got plenty of that, though. We don't have... Oh, we have no idea what the 10 is, do we? 10. Okay, so do me a favor. Drop that in. What we need is an egg. Okay. That's a coincidence. Don't think I... It's not an egg that's going to give us a lot of bonuses, unfortunately. All right, so we need to get another four. I don't think we can do that with what we have, unfortunately. I mean, even with three, two, yeah, the the biggest thing we can toss in here is probably the uh, beverage. I'm actually curious, do we have a beverage that would allow us to do this? Let's see. It just, come on. All right, so what do we got? What do we have? That's two. This is two, one. 
This one up here is one. This one here is one. Yeah, it's not enough, unfortunately. We still need three more. All right, so it's not something we can tackle immediately, but we have to keep that in mind. In any case, let's uh, take the egg out. That will go back to where it started with, I hope. Um, Yeah, I mean, we can pretty much get the... Where is it? This thing give us... Yeah, three. So that gives us... We only need is to put a one point in here, which we can do with a liquid. So let's say we do that first. Toss that in there. And... That's a nine, which unfortunately is not enough. Um, let's see. But grab, let's say, the next one on the list. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. Let's hit this one at a time. Hmm. Magpie stuff. And we, yeah, that's going to be, I think, the same thing we just did. Solomon's preparation. Rhyme and remembrance. Midnight Mark. It's still only nine, however. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not moving super fast. Inks of Contentment. Let's see. Catwink. Ooh, Precursor. Solomon's Separation. We don't... Huh. Also, why do we have Undiscovered here with Heart? Really should get that knock looked at. In any case, the moment... Uh... You know, I'm going kind of nuts here. Okay, so let's drop this out, shall we? I don't plan on using it like such, but Lethe. Lethe's okay. So we've got Lethe going. Um... At least we're getting some information here. So I'm gonna have to figure out what the heck you can do with... Wait, winter? Is that what it's supposed to be? Winter? I mean, winter's easy enough. Oops, sorry. Hop up there. Now, winter's easy enough. We just toss in... This one. That's Catwink. No, angry. But it's only seven. We'd need to get three more winter. I mean, can we actually do that? Now you go back where you started. I don't think I... Ooh, Salma's preparation again would do it, ironically. And then we can figure out what the heck that's supposed to be. Mix this with a Vedrid, blah, 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 blah. Anyways. All right, so I think we've gone far enough on that one, but it is interesting. I will... Yeah, actually, let's get back to moons, shall we? Let's open this up again. Trist, drop another one of these. I never actually go all the way through it. Cornoscopy. Room tide. All right. So, yeah. Let's see. Drop back in this thing. Inigo, enduring reflection. I don't remember if that's one that we have that's. It should be enduring, damn it. But we don't have the additional six that. But we don't have. Ooh, we don't have that. We need to figure out what this undiscovered is. It should be another silvery ink, however. So, the ink of revelation, I think, is one we already have plenty of, unfortunately. Go this correctly. One's goal. Ooh, we don't, actually. Ooh, we may not have any left, actually. Okay. Let's do that. Let's grab. Oh, there's only five here, so I'm already going to flip this out here. Intuition. Um, hmm. Wait, that. Ooh, throws. Um, yeah. Don't think we have the ability to change that, however. Um, but what we can do is grab our grab our friend the stifling again. Get in there. And a memory more powerful than the sign. And then we can just add that liquid I have, the water. Basic water will do it. Got so much of this. All right, let's grab the water here, I believe. All right, Azamil. I don't think we have any Azamil up and going, I think. All right, let me double check our 
ink supply, and if not, we'll uh, let this one rip. Azumil, Hound's Guild, Preparate, Astharte, Pernicullet, Stargill, and Yigal. Nope, hit it. Got a use for that egg now. All right, cool. Let's go. All right, break it up, people. Break it up. All right, we've still got one metal left, and I'm curious. I probably will use that to feed the beast just to get that out of the way. Terrence! Get that spot back, shall we? There you go. Let's get you back in a better mood, shall we? Okay, yeah, we are definitely running out of space here. And I probably will in between. Oh, right. Got it. Probably will do some... Oof, we actually hit it. We actually hit that point. Wow. I'm going to take uh, my personal journal out of here. Also, let's put that there, and that there, and that there, just so we have all the recordings in the right place. Let's take my personal journal and put it in my bedroom. Assume I got a place for it. Actually, yeah, right in there, right there on the table. So if you know where you want to look for it, it's right there. Anyways, again, all right, let's... Yeah, this one's been done. I guess we'll have to put it down here. I think we've got... Yeah, that one should be... Oh boy. This one on the other hand is yet to be written. What can be contained by silver? So that goes directly into here, or it would. Oh no. <laughs> exactly the same problems we're having before. Okay, desire. Okay. I think that's going to be interesting when we play with that one. But in the meantime, let's see. Inks of Revelation. Let's put that there. Fight there. All right, we need um this first. Collect. All right then. So what we need to do at this point is grab. Yeah, I'm. Mean, what I'm going to do is probably between episodes, I'm going to go in and start cataloging what each of these skills produces. So you don't have to see me do that all the time. But it is kind of fun to play with it. Anyway, so let's grab Inks of Revelation. Let's grab the Lesson. Let's grab Fust. And that should be. Oh, person goes here. Memory goes here. Got it. All right. Staring at Kitty is not going to be wasted. Excellent. That leaves us. A... That should be it for skills, really. Okay. We can deal with that. Anyways. Let's get that ink dealt with as well. Dang it. I'm going to get Terrence. Let's feed Terrence. Terrence doesn't look so good. Anyway, so yeah, and once we get this completed, we will, of course, put with our ink supply, because we need two of each ink supply. All right, so there you go. Terrence is feeling much better now after I fed him some grapes. You know, not a super um, startling day, but we did get some progress done. We did manage to uh, unlock a couple of skills here and what they produce, but all right, cool. There you go, there. There's the ink, the Azure Meal. Now let's get the Azure Meal into place. Over here. Uh-huh. No, let's just put it right here. How's that? All right, so the Azure Meal. Now the Azure Meal, of course, is really good for unlocking Moon. There's for, and not bad for Knock, either. Huh, could use it as a liquid for um some of those uh, metallic stuff we've been playing with. Anyways. All right, so, and let's get this knocked out. Uh -huh. Inks of Revelations at level two now. Hmm. Huh. And the next day running around, we'll have to get another book done, of course. Uh, depending on what the energy of the day we have, but yeah. Desires and dissolutions. All right, yeah, we need to play with the new ones. I don't even want to try to match what this one's about, but it's probably fun. We can automatically get with chore automatically uh, that plus this plus uh, tool to give us let us know what level five is. Just wondering where we can get use a tooled grail. We can use a tooled grail in a desk that's automatic. Right, got it. So we might as well just pick up the scales. I think we've got them here. In anticipation of that, and the next. Uh, Dusk. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just gonna let uh, time go by faster here. Uh, take a deep breath. Basically, we have sleeping through the night this time around rather than reading feverishly. 
which we tend to do pretty much all the time. All right, so after a good night's sleep, what presents, what's the day bring? And it's funny. Eh, not bad. All right, with Sunny, we can definitely grab one of the other lantern books that we can use. But first things first, I want to know. Let's grab Eva's desk, I think. I want to know what desires and dissolutions can produce. Okay, so. Witching to Zang. It's a type of tea. For Scarlet Recipe of Ask a Flower, it makes you become intoxicating. I think what will happen is we'll end up with a, um... We'll end up with, uh, that Ruin run again. This stuff. Yeah, Ruby Rise Ruin. The Four Grail stuff. Now, definitely need to start thinking about the next book we're going to hit. Uh, because, oh my god, we need to clear so much space. Alright, so the easiest one to do, obviously, is going to be the other line. It's a heart mystery. Should be able to do that one pretty quickly. Because I've got... Not just chore, but... Yeah. Or heart right there. I can use any skill with that I want. So let's actually grab Trist and that book there that will allow us to put this one into place. So we need a heart-based one. Okay, so a heart-based desk. Should be, yeah, this one... I think, yeah, good old Solomon. No, he doesn't have that one. So who does? Does Eva's desk? Nope. All right, let's keep moving around. You need a better idea what desks we have anyways. Bingo. Natan's desk, actually Christopher's. Um, now, Chora's got a couple other things we could do with it, but what we can do is, like I said, we can grab Trist. We can throw in... Oh, good lord, I had this right now. Um, art. Let's see, which one can we throw in? Uh, this one. Or heart, right off the bat. Don't need to make a tangle brag. Thank you very much. Thank you for thinking of that. But, um, got two of them already. Still haven't figured what we're going to do with them yet. Right there. Onwards. So that will produce a pretty quick one right off the bat. That produces a space. We can finally get this one. Oops. There you go. Again, not contaminated. Gotta go check that one. But yeah, this stuff again. So we managed to actually get that clear. This one. We need seven hearts. We got the chore here. All right, so. Probably should have used that desk for it. Anyways, this one will work. All right, so we can get this in place. Um, chore. What was the skill again that we needed? Uh, brothers. All right, so. That was it. Theoplasmic, this is... No, neck theoplasmic. Okay, that should work. Oh, it doesn't have the ability to do it. Is this one good against Theoplasmic? So we need to be able to find what has Heart and Winter. Uh, heart and Winter. Oof, theoplasmic. Let's see if we've got anything else that would work. Effective against Theoplasmic. Also this one. Can this one fit in here? Does it have Forge or Edge? It does not. All right. Need more desks, apparently. Desks, desks, desks. I know we've got more desks around here. Uh, it's strange, dude. Can we actually zap for desks? Is there a way to do that? No, unfortunately not. All right, so yeah. The desks, we may have to put this one to pin in that one for a moment, but we do definitely have some thoughts about this. Any case, uh, let's put the grail tool back in place. Let's see what else we can do today. All right, so another thing to consider... Can we... Is this one going to be the desk we're going to need to use? I mean, we have... Hmm. We've got for both Theoplasmic. We have... Moon, which will not work. But will this work? Edge or Forge? No. Eligerate X6 for... for Alright, so we got to think about that one for a bit. We might want to consider one of the other ones as well. That's what we got for Poisoned Books. They are over here. Um, this one, taint, synthetic taint. 
Again, I'm going to have to look over that for uh, off screen. I've got a lot of stuff to organize between episodes. So I'm going to get this day started. So we need more, as I say. Let's see. Where was... Uh, that's Edge. This is also... Also, it's... No, we need, we need to catalog that one. All right. So we have room for another cataloged book. So what we should do is grab... All right, one of these. Stiller books. Do that. Let's um, can play with that later. Let's get the whist going. I think this one will work. Boom. And no, not that one. This one. Catalog. That will be another one we take off of these shelves. So we can start thinking about organizing things as we get closer. Okay, six, four, eight, and... So yeah, this is getting this is good for nectar. These are good for our grail ones. I mean, moon is just kind of overflowing. It'll be this at some point. But uh, no, put this here. Put that there. Okay, put that there. Do do do. I'm just curious if we can switch these out. For organization's sake, to nothing else. Let's see you now. Twin, ten, ten, eight. Okay, these need to switch. Yeah, I'm getting obsessive as an actual librarian here. That goes there, and this goes there, and that goes there, and this goes there, and that goes there, and this goes there. And that goes there, and this goes here, and that goes there, and this goes... Yeah, we can actually do that. Switch them out with that one there, plus this one here. Oh, it actually won't fit, unfortunately. But yeah, we can definitely start working towards getting this a lot more organized. Yeah, unfortunately, probably have to start switching out the sky for this one as well. It, it's like it's going to get complicated, but I think we can actually pull this off and make these the regular shelves, as Mel is making these. Essentially, yeah, woof, woof, we're definitely getting, yeah, we're full up there at that point. So yeah, we need to start putting more additional shelves over here. Speaking of which, um, right, we should probably get back to doing the uh, lantern one. Yeah, lantern, all right. This is the only one we have right now, and it is written in Sabazine, which I think I do know. Sabazine, right there. Okay, so that's considered one right at the bat, plus two here. So yeah, let's see about that. Okay, so we can definitely use old Solomon's uh, desk here. Let's grab that one. Let's grab the sun. That makes that. Sabazine makes that a total of six with tool. And do we want to use the ink or do we want to just, you know, grab a skill? I mean, we have plenty of skills. This one right there goes there. That's nine. And we can just roll around and grab that old tool we have there. Which one is it? I think it's the lens bracket. Let's see. Yep. The, or the snoodle jar. That'll work too. Hit it. Definitely. The hymns of the St. Lucia of the Islas, patron of glass workers, name of the hour, name of the menescate. Okay. She's going to be interesting, I'm pretty sure. All right. So let's get that knocked out. And we need to consider where we're going to start putting more of these shelves. All right. So. Hit that for the moment. And yeah, we definitely need to think about definitely need to think about what we're gonna be doing next. Alright, yeah, let's grab more books. Because we're just gonna be booking the entire time here, I think. And let's grab this, grab Fet, grab this. It's solar period book. Because we definitely need to just keep going here. Plowing through all of these bloody novels. Alright, so we should have one popping up right now. Alloy of the White Rose. The account of a mistress white flower of the alchemical techniques favored by the House of York. Also identified with the Dawn Road. These techniques are failed to bring the victory within the War of the Rose. They are not to be discounted. War of the Rose is basically masculine versus feminine energies as far as I can tell. I have to dive more into that at some point. But yeah, that does put us back over here, however. And it's not polluted. So yeah, grab it right in there. There you go. 
V. So many books, so little time. Meanwhile, if we're not going to do anything else with it, we might as well just modify. And we should consider what we're going to be doing for flowers. What do we have that we don't have two of? Yeah, the Echo Flats, unfortunately, is no one who can only pick up in a certain time period. Sea Holly, on the other hand, if I recall properly, we get that from here. Sea Holly in summer, it is still summer. Go. And Leaves and Thorns, which is the perfect one for it, of course. While that's going on, we can consider... All right, what we should do is we should definitely feed our boy here. All right, he's down in the tunnels now, I forgot. Let's feed our boy here. Let's feed him with... Lesser than those. And, of course, the egg we've produced. I didn't produce it. Obviously, the chicken produced it, but we all know what we're talking about here. All right, so... Boom. Let's get you recharged, shall we? In addition to that, we should probably work on... Let's see, shopped. We should work on getting another egg in place. We can't do that till um, we're done with that one, unfortunately. And in that case, we should look around to see if we've got any things we want to stare at. Um, I don't know if we have any more heads that are available. Okay, hold on for a second. All right. Idea of the nature and its components. All right. 14. Descent of the shell trees and eggs, light and optics by Abbas Mechelank. Dazzling illuminated by renderings of Abbas's vision. Yeah. Guns are big on visions. Looks like a Hildegard. All right. So what's 14? Oof. We got to pull this one up to here. To pull... That, there we go. 14, 14. Oof, a lot of high-grade um, forge books here. All right. Then also we should be getting an idea of what this one looks like. All right. So, okay. I didn't even use the ink for this one, which is good. Has to do with the language you had to use, too. All right. Cool. The hymns venerate every sanctioned hour, so I could probably go that. Celebrating as the sun undivided, but also just in each hour may become the next magical to watch from watch into wolf and so on. In other words, the act of transformation through death and rebirth for following a particular cycle of a predetermined cycle. Now, where's the other one that we had? It will pop up at some point. Ah, was it up here? Yep. The Lord's Provincial and Lord's Disjoint Discoordinational war in the streets of clarity. Why punch punk two tents getting drunk on ink and supply the jokes? Although by savage the standard, there aren't many jokes. That really sounds like a slog to get through. Okay. Ah, there we are. Ah, there you go. Back in place. And let's grab another egg. Yeah, I know, it's exciting. Doing barnyard work. Alright, um, shop to me, baby. Give me an egg. Meanwhile, since we have chore, we should probably, why we still can, produce some more lovely... Oh, let's see, let's produce some more lovely grapes. They store easier. Meanwhile... We get money. Right, cool, we have money now. Do it again. It's a day! Mm-hmm, <laughs> summer. This is the kind of stuff you do in summer. Ah, the exciting music for book reading that we're doing. All right, so um, let's see which one of you gets out first. It's going to be this one, Solomon's. There you go. All right, Revelations. The hymn of the phases celebrates the men escape from whom we do not turn for the truth which is beauty, the beauty which is truth, and the perfect balance between the two. The hymn of the reflections, because he is the mother of reflections, more puzzlingly celebrates the men escapes as the sister of Janus, mother of shadow. Hey, Teresa should read this book. Whose visage, wondrous, and emptiness can reveal truths. Basically, the light within the void being the substance, I mean, being the balance that creates all things. The light gives the formless void form wherever it touches, which is how we create the world as we know it. Thacra Solus Invicti? Okay. Savage Him? Oh, this this is a pretty one. This is what this is a keeper. Um first things first. Obviously. Being a lot of lantern-based stuff at the moment. But this one oh it's it's 
Wow. All right. So, what do we got here? Find like these lords proverbial and in the city's clarity gate to expel the population into the unknown. The formula used for this and ceiling is a real one. You can use with knock and primal meter to create a gate center of power. We already have that one. It's a funny parable and real metal matter, which is one we're going to have to reposition. Now, I'm thinking what we should do is try to locate one that has this, a low level one. Oh, actually, they're all pretty high. Sky stories. Hmm. If it's the other way around, what we want is probably one of our ones that we use to create metals with, like, say, the glass blowing one, which we're going to need a, ooh, could do some interesting stuff here. All right, so, right, we got ideas. So the ones we have right to work with right now are just the Cavani Parable and the Savage Hymn. What I want to do, if we want to try to get this up to the next level, is that I would need Savage Hymns, it's got that, and I would need one other um, sky or that. So what we should do, since we got Defending Pearl... Huh. Okay, so we need Pattern, perhaps, that works. But we already know Pattern comes from just verse, so yeah, let's grab that. Also, we're gonna need a soul fragment for that. Um, hmm. We need to use we if we need to use rose or pattern. We're better off using. That's the thing. Better off using what? Trist fet. We can use fet actually. But I think we've actually still got to wait for this. So it's gonna be a bit of a mess. We may have to pick it up next episode, considering where we are now. Oh boy. We're going to finish off the current cycles, and then we're going to attack this and figure this stuff out. All right, so, see Holly, great. Let's put this away. All right, so, put this to bed, as it were. See Holly goes here. Okay, so can we fit it here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Lovely. And, all right, I'm okay with that. This is functional. All right, so we no longer have to worry about the greenery. It's all in place. This one needs to be cataloged with the lantern ones, which I don't think we have a lantern thing yet, so... Oh, boy. Um, yeah. We're going to have to do some serious stuff here. All right, so... Yeah, there you go. Come on, we, can, we I saw it fit. There you go. All right, pause. Sacrosolus, Invictus. All right, so the thing was we can actually do... Let's grab Sacrosolus, Invictus. Uh, okay, we can do that. Put the lesson in. Wist, by the way, does have lantern in it, so that works. And we only need one memory. Boom. That'll bring it up. One we got from the book itself. All right, so we use the Savage Hymn for that. And boom. Let's see what we got here. All right, so once that's done, okay, pause for a moment. Oh, hi. We got another egg. Thank goodness. Don't worry, we'll feed you something shortly. We've got we produced another grape. Speaking of which, all right, pause for a second. We have. We're slowly but surely increasing our money again. Because we haven't really been buying anybody to work with us, so it's just going to go up at this point. So, yeah, we're going to have the grape before long. We have... I don't think we need to buy... Use the two pence to get anything here. Now, the lesson premium meter, like I said, we will figure something else out for that. Hate to burn this cult scrap for it. But we know no danger of losing it to from a season change going to Numa. So next time around, what we're going to do is we'll attach premium meter probably to this one... Once I confirm it's one of the ones that produces metals, that are the metal I like. Then we will move on to the next phase of things. This time around, it's basically us catching up. And speaking of which, let's just go to... This one has been red, so we need a place to put it. I don't know if we have that at the moment. We don't. Ooh, it's all getting crowded up here. So, yeah. Let me think here for a second, though. I think... Oh, we don't have any of those. Uh, this one doesn't have room. Grail. Grail me, baby. Ah, we can grab this one. Devour Tantra. Put that in with the Grails down there. And put this in right 
where it was. Ah, there you go. All right, so yeah. When I go off screen, I'm gonna, I mean, off off recording, I'm gonna do some serious reorganization. And like I said, finally create that spreadsheet that I've been talking about with all the skills and such and what it produces product-wise and figure out what the heck we're gonna do with it. Things. Just like the fact I could put these two in for four health, for four hearts, hilarious. Anyways, um, yeah, let's grab this. Soul Invictus, right? So the Church of the Unconquered Sun and certain secrets. Ooh, it's good against curses. Might be able to get, finally get to use that. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, probably time to uh, wrap this one up. But I hope you enjoyed it. This is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and the Book of Hours. Your curious bid you farewell as close as um, visiting hours have closed, and we will see you next time on Lovecraft Country. Like, share, subscribe, per usual, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the Dark Lords of content and data.